My name is Tony Lawrence. I'm a team leader in the marketing department at uh, Lake Mountain Supply. I've been with the company for a total of six years. Uh, the past three years, uh, I've been a team leader. And my department is responsible for promoting uh, our outdoor clothing and equipment uh, to dealers all around the world. Hey, sorry, I am putting you in charge of our customer appreciation event. Well, what I need to know. Yeah, you've got Tracy and Joe okay. um, on the team again from, from before. Okay. You've got a couple of other people I'm not remembering right now. I'll, right. I'll look at my notes and I'll email No, them. hold on a sec. Do they know that I'm lead on this? Some do already. I'll communicate that tomorrow. So what does success look like to you on this project? Um, you know, it's a tough economy right now. Yeah, it is. But if we can make our customers feel valued by us because of this event, I think, I think we'll have success. Uh, anything that uh, we might have left out? Yeah, um, you know, we just need to target the big spenders. Invite only those customers who spend above a certain amount. And you know, maybe give them a special discount on the latest product line, that kind of thing. Thank you for being here on time. Before we get going, let me pass out these uh, project schedules. Just go ahead and take one, pass it around. And while you're doing that, I'm noticing we have an empty chair here. Joe, has anybody seen him? No, Joe is not here. Okay, I will follow up with him a little later, find out what's going on. Tim, you are up. Uh, I uh, followed up on the invitation list, made sure all the contact information was up today. I think that's about it. Okay. I thought you were also responsible for providing us with the sample photos of the display cases. Uh, yeah, yeah, I meant to call you about that. Okay, Tim, you knew we were making a decision about that today. And let's see, man, if we don't get this to, you know, I, I'm sorry, Tim. Uh, let's, let's talk about that a little later. You and I, uh, I'm really curious to get your perspective on this. The difficulty is, being in charge of other people's work, but not necessarily being in charge of them. So balancing those two dynamics of the work that I'm responsible for and the people that I really don't have any authority over, that, that can be challenging. All right, now let me get this straight. You're caught between uh, your responsibilities on our team and Milo's expectations of you and you feel like you're getting some heat from Milo because he's not too happy about you spending so much time on our team. Let me talk with Milo and I will try and clear the path for you. Milo, hey, I gotta talk to you. You got a couple minutes? I got a big question, All right. okay? I just got done talking with Joe about some of the responsibilities he was given in regards to the whole right, big company right. listen, event. Listen, Lawrence, I understand that he's been on your team in the yeah. past, but I can't, I can't let him go right now. I thought Nina already scheduled him. Right, she may have, but that's not her call. I mean, he's in my department. Oh. Nina was expecting Joe to be part of this team, right. and now you're pulling him to do something no, else. No, listen, I understand that Joe was on your team in the past, and you right. guys are used to having him, but yes. that was when we had some, some spare time, okay? Right now, I can't afford to let him go. He's in the sales department. I need him in sales. And besides that, G Nina didn't even ask me if she could schedule him. Oh, Milo, I, I apologize. Obviously, I didn't know the whole situation. Right, right. So this is what we're looking at right now. Uh, Joe used to have free time, right. but he doesn't anymore. Right. And you're upset because uh, well, no one not, approached you. He's or not asking too much you? for somebody to approach me before they borrow my own employee, is it? <laughs> no. No, it's not. I can see how that, that'd be frustrating. 